Hello and welcome. We have with us Ms. Paula Jane Cox, Training and Development Manager for Ferrari World Abu Dhabi. Hello and welcome. Hello, thank you for having me. So, um, being a Training and Development Manager for uh, Ferrari World, what exactly is your role? Um, my role is to head up the function of a training team within Ferrari World Abu Dhabi. We've got 48 different nationalities working for us. Um, there's a very clear structural blueprint of, of core values um, so it's about making sure everybody is as knowledgeable as they can be and as motivated as they can be it's a, it's a guest service element all right and like recently like as of late uh, p uh, they've been uh, focusing on boosting amortization within organizations so have you like set any targets regarding how much you want to increase amortization in your organization yes it's something we're certainly prepared for very aware of we've been um, trying to um, adapt the right programs um, and it's something very much the HR department are focusing on so it's definitely a, a priority in our future Okay, and uh, do you, uh, can you tell us more about the policies that you've uh, put into place to boost amortization? Um, I think the, the policy is making sure, really, or well not so much a policy, um, is to making sure it works for everybody, um, which is the challenge in the region. So we're making sure that our staff and, and our core values keep running and that um, Emiratis can actually mould and... and um, um, get something really useful from working for us um, but as I said it's pretty much a HR um, initiative at the moment but we've been to uh, plenty of training ourselves we've looked and we're studying and we're coming up with the best um, blueprint that we can for everybody all right and uh, obviously when you employ someone you need to train them so um, how is expat training different from local training like is there any difference we tend not to consider it that way what we are very aware of and cautious of and what we do need to, to consider is that everybody's understood now that's not just a language situation that's a uh, everybody needs to get it and everybody needs to be as driven and everybody needs to be and we do cultural diversity programs some of our core values we instantly break down any um, uh, cultural barriers that people may have with each other working in teams um, we've got lots of games and, and we follow certain philosophies we've used the fish philosophy which seems to work well with all cultures um, and you know and our, and our mission statements is to deliver out of this world experience so keep people happy keep them focused make sure everybody understands we do have um, lots of translation and we're very very focused on a new program called chat which is delivering um, conversational English first so people are confident people from other regions are confident that they can speak our business language which is English and you've also mentioned that you need to tailor your leadership models according to different cultures so what are the key elements or, or like how do you go about tailoring these models according to different cultures Wow, and I think it's a big question. Um, I think that again, it, it's awareness and sensitivity. So you need the end goal, but it's how you get there as a team. Um, and personally, I'm a great Carl Jung fan. When you go back to personality types and you go back to the core basics of what drives a human, everybody's the same. Um, I am a great fan of humour, not the most intellectual answer, but I think everybody responds to a smile and everybody responds to um, some kind of warm interaction. So I think it's about making sure everybody has, they, uh, has their say and going back to the core uh, basics of a human rather than trying to throw models on them. Right, so lastly, um, how do you think uh, the seminars like these or workshops like this actually help organizations you know, in terms of amortization or just general training and development of the employees? Do you know what? Absolutely fabulous. I think that events like this in this region are worth their weight in gold. Um, and just by being here and meeting similar people with, with the same thoughts or again, somebody in the corner that never says anything has got the most fabulous idea. Um, and as I said in, in my presentation, you know, it's about us 